Hi, Sam Denif here with Copters, and today we are answering all your questions on the DJI Matrice 30 series. What is the DJI Matrice 30 series? The DJI Matrice 30 series is two drones, the Matrice 30 and the Matrice 30T. Now what they do is take the power of the DJI Matrice 300 and the Zemu's H20T camera and compact it down into an almost Mavic sized package to give better portability, but all the power of that larger class drone. What's the difference between the DJI M30 and the M30T? Both the M30 and the M30T have the same payload. They have a 12 megapixel wide angle camera. They have a 48 megapixel 200 times zoom camera, and they have a laser rangefinder that works at up to 1200 meters. The big difference is the T, which stands for thermal. So on the M30, you just have the three payloads we've mentioned earlier. On the M30T, you have a 640 by 512 resolution, 30 hertz thermal sensor, all built into the same camera. How long can the M30 series fly for? So the M30 and M30T have a flight time in total as given by DJI of 41 minutes. Obviously it's gonna be slightly different in the real world. It depends on weather conditions and how you're flying. But what that means is you've got a pretty much class leading flight time for any sort of commercial off the shelf drone solution. How much does the M30 series weigh? The M30 series weighs 3.7 kilos. So that's around half of what the DJI Matrice 300 weighs. Gives it a little bit extra in terms of portability and ease of transport. Is the Matrice 30 series waterproof? So the M30 series has an IP rating of 55. What that means is that it is totally dust resistant, um, but it's also resistant to sprays of water from any direction. If we compare that to something like the Matrice 300, it's a similar level of coverage on a much smaller drone. So it isn't fully waterproof, it can't be submerged, but it can fly in very poor weather conditions. So if you need to fly for an emergency, put it up in poor, poor weather, it'll definitely be able to do that. Can the camera on the M30 series be replaced with other payloads? So on the M30 series, the payload is fixed in place, so you cannot switch your gimbal and camera over. That's a bit of a trade-off to give a better IP rating, but also to slim down and give the lower weight and portability of this system. What you do have, however, is the ability to top mount a sensor or payload onto the drone using the attachments on the top. There are various third-party payloads being developed, and anything up to 685 grams can be added onto the drone. Is the arm locking mechanism the same on the DJI M30 series as it was on the DJI M300 RTK? One sticking point that operators did have with the M300 RTK is that the arms folded out and then locked in place with a rotational cuff. Now this had the uh, unfortunate issue where there could be faults when it was flying if they weren't locked into place properly. So what DJI have done with the M30T is simplified it made it much easier and safer to use. The arms will fold out and simply click and lock into place and the drone won't take off unless the arms are locked in correctly. What redundancy features does the M30 have? If you're familiar with the DJI M300, you might be familiar with the emergency three prop landing mode and the M30 and M30T have that same redundancy feature. If you're not familiar with it, what that means is if there is a fault on any one of the motors or propellers, the drone will descend on three propellers without simply dropping out the sky. So this gives you time and control to bring the drone down somewhere that's safe, make sure there's no people or buildings or objects underneath where the drone is landing, uh, and potentially also save your expensive payloads and expensive drone from being in any serious damage. It doesn't mean you have full control of the drone, you can't fly it around on three propellers, it's very much an emergency landing system, but it certainly makes things a lot safer when any issues arise in terms of landing somewhere away from people, away from structures, and as safely as you possibly can. What batteries does the DJI M30 series use? The DJI M30 series uses the brand new TB30 batteries. Once again, similar to the DJI Matrice 300, it's a pair of batteries that work together it allows you to do the same hot swap capability that you have with the DJI Matrice 300. So you can land the drone when you're running low on battery, take one battery out and replace it with a new one, 
then take the second battery out, replace that with a new one, and get back in the air without having to power down the drone or turn anything off, losing valuable working time. The controller uses the same WB37 batteries that are used in the DJI Sendent remote and other smart controllers. So if you already have those batteries lying around, you can use them with the controller for the M30. What battery station does the M30 series use? The M30 series uses the brand new battery station, the BS30. This battery station charges eight TB30 batteries and two of the WB37 controller batteries any one time. It has three main smart charging modes, which are as follows. The first is standard mode, where each battery pair is charged to 100% in sequence. This takes roughly 42 minutes to complete. The second is storage mode. Each battery pair is charged to 50% in sequence and kept at 50% after charging. The third is ready to fly mode. Each battery pair is charged to 90% in sequence and kept at 90% after charging. This only takes 30 minutes to charge from 20% to 90%. So this is probably the mode that's gonna get most use in the public safety world where the system has been taken out and needs to be charged and ready to operate as quickly as possible. What smart features are available on the M30 series? The M30 series has many of the same smart features that the M300 RTK does, and in some instances, it builds on them. Some of those are as follows. High resolution grid photo returns from the DJI Matrice 300 series. This allows you to frame an area of interest in a wide camera view, and then the zoom camera will automatically capture a set of 48 megapixel images of that area. These images are stored together with an overview image that can be viewed in much greater detail. AI spot check also returns. This allows you to automate routine inspections and capture consistent results every time. The use of onboard AI allows you to recognize pre-marked areas of interest in subsequent automated missions to ensure consistent framing when inspecting. Pinpoint is a feature that was really useful on the M300 and it makes a return on the M30 series. A quick tap marks an object in view and advanced sensor fusion algorithms immediately deliver its coordinates. Smart Track was probably one of the most useful features the M300 series has, and it's also available on the M30 series. It allows you to identify and follow moving subjects like people, vehicles, and boats with the auto zoom function, while continuously acquiring the subject's dynamic location. Smart Inspection, much like Smart Track, is one of the most useful features on the M300 series and is sure to be the same on the M30. An upgrade to live mission recording brings an optimized user interface, convenient task recording, and target point marking, saving 90% of operational steps. Gimbal angle and photo settings can be adjusted between waypoints, improving flight and mission efficiency. As with the M300 series, you can set up waypoints. On the M30 series, you can create up to 65,535 waypoints and set multiple actions for your payload. There are some new smart features on the M30 series which weren't available on the M300 series. One of those features is smart low light photo. You can capture bright, clear images even in low light conditions. Another new feature for the M30 series is live annotations where you can highlight objects or areas of interest for efficient mission management and resource distribution. Annotations are then visible to ground teams, to pilots, or to any team member for timely project alignment and task distribution. Does the Matrice 30 series have RTK? The M30 series has built-in RTK. This allows for flying near larger metal structures or near power lines, anywhere where there's a lot of interference to keep the flight much more stable. Does the M30 series support dual control? So DJI introduced dual operating mode for the Matrice 200. And at the time that meant you could control the payloads or control the drone with two controllers. With the M300 RTK, they added in advanced dual operating mode, which meant you could control the payload and the drone, but switch between the two so you could change your pilot. The M30 series has that same feature, and also has the ability to effectively daisy chain the drone. So if you have multiple controllers, you can fly to the maximum range of that controller or to the maximum range legally, i.e. line of sight or 500 meters that you can operate at, 
and then switch who is operating the drone and who's operating the payloads at any time. This could be really useful for search and rescue missions, for long range inspection, for any protracted missions within public safety, where you want to switch between pilots due to fatigue or cover much larger areas of ground. What controller is compatible with the Matrice 30 series? The only controller currently compatible with the M30 series is the brand new RC Plus. This new controller has a seven inch ultra bright screen and operates off the WB37 batteries. These batteries give you around a six hour battery life and they're also hot swappable because the controller has its own internal battery. So if this is starting to run low, you can take one of the WB37s out, operate off the internal battery in the controller and then put a new WB37 in when it's fully charged and continue operating. So there is absolutely zero downtime with the new controller. Does the DJI RC Plus work with the DJI Matrice 300 RTK? At the moment, no, the controller isn't compatible with the DJI Matrice 300 RTK. However, this is something that would be a simple firmware fix and it's something we think DJI will look to do in the future as the Matrice 300 RTK is still very much the flagship drone from DJI Enterprise. And last but certainly not least, is the controller waterproof? We're pleased to say that the DJI RC Plus is DJI's first water resistant remote controller. It has an IP rating of 54, and what this means, similar to the drone, is it can't be fully submerged in water, but it can be sprayed or splashed with water while operating. What this means is that one traditional problem of flying drones is, is overruled, and that was if you're flying the drone in less than ideal weather conditions, you have to stand under shelter or have some way to keep the controller dry while you're operating. You no longer have that issue. The controller can be used in poor weather conditions. Anything the drone can operate in, you can operate the controller into. So that is everything you need to know on the DJI M30 series. If you've got any more questions or any interest in the M30 series, please do get in touch with us at sales at copters.com.